at equal intervals of time and the payments are also equal right if all these payments are same at equal intervals of time we call them as level annuities whereas if each of them right if each of these is increasing at on a sum basis probably it's like if all these payments are 100 rupees right after one year 100 rupees after two years 100 rupees after three years 100 rupees after four after five if all the payments are exactly the same we call them as level annuities but otherwise okay if the payment is 100 in the first year 120 in the second 140 in the third 160 in the fourth wherein you are seeing an increase in the payment year over year or probably a decrease okay 100 here 90 here 80 here 70 here uh, a pattern wise decrease in the payments in each of the periods we call those things as increasing annuities whether it is increasing or decreasing but uh, uh, on, on some constant basis if it is increasing we call those kind of annuities as increasing annuities so typically when we talked about uh, the regular annuity level annuity uh, we said that the a constant amount for all the periods so if i am looking at some one for each of the periods we were discounting it to the present value if we are discounting it to the present value we got it as v plus v squared plus v cube plus so on v power n and this is what we called as a n this was the terming which we have used for our regular annuity and even we got this as 1 minus v power n by i the, the, the geometric progression associated with this now what we are saying is okay let me multiply this by 1 plus i both sides 1 plus i times a n so what is that i am getting here when i am multiplying this uh, with uh, 1 plus i times a n okay this is coming out as 1 because v is nothing but 1 by 1 plus i so this is coming out as v or, or the better way we should uh, look out for is See, all we can uh, otherwise uh, look at, okay, if I am multiplying with 1 plus i, it is coming out as v1 plus v plus so on. See, otherwise uh, what I can uh, look out for is... See, when we, when we uh, talk about an increasing annuity, so we are uh, talking about uh, something increasing at some rate. So probably I will denote an increasing annuity as IAN, wherein I am talking about uh, a cash flow of 1 after 1 period, 2 after 2 years, 3 after 3 years, 4 after 4 years and so on which means actually the present value of this is becoming v plus 2v squared plus 3v cube plus 4v power 4 and n v power n see in a regular annuity in a regular level annuity we defined a n as v plus v squared plus so on plus v power n but because we are talking about an increasing annuity, so IA is what we are defining here. 
wherein we are talking it as v okay at the end of one year i am still getting a one but after two years there is an increasing value so i am getting a cash flow of two and third year i am getting a cash flow of three and so on after n years i am getting a cash flow of n so this is what we are notating we are giving as an increasing annuity kind of a notation now if i want to simplify this okay i will uh, multiply this by 1 plus i 1 plus i let's say i multiply this with uh, this so v is nothing but 1 by 1 plus i so this becomes 1 plus 2v plus 3v squared plus so on n v power n minus 1 now what i am saying is why not we subtract 1 plus i 1 plus i i a n minus a n when you are doing this uh, subtraction so all you are seeing is this is 1 this is coming out as v and this is coming out as 2v squared plus so on right when we are uh, doing this a per n we are getting or probably we'll do this way i a n we got this and uh, you subtract 1 plus i into i a n 1 plus i into i a n if we subtract this is coming out as or the other way we subtract 1 plus i times i a n minus i a n if i do this subtraction this is nothing but 1 plus v plus v squared plus so on n v power uh, or v power n minus 1 minus n v power n and logically if we see this is nothing but the regular sorry the annuity due for a level annuity annuity due for a level annuity minus n v power n and obviously here if i take out i a n outside it is 1 plus i minus 1 so this is coming out as i so probably i could have written i a n as the present value of an annuity due minus n v power n by i so this is a, a major expression right when i am talking about uh, uh, a regular increasing annuity all i am saying is uh, a level annuity due minus n v power n by i this is the expression now the same logic which we have used earlier if in this case i want i want annuity due increasing annuity due logic remains the same instead of i i will replace it with d or if i want a continuously payable annuity the same logic remains right 